All right, guys, so I've been doing some research on the best Fiverr gigs out there, the best opportunities right now on Fiverr. And these are, in my opinion, the 11 best jobs and best gigs that you can start on Fiverr. Most of these don't require any previous experience or a college degree or anything like that. They're relatively easy to start and they're relatively easy to make money with. So with that being said, let's jump into it right after you cheers the like button. Number one on the list is going to be LinkedIn optimization. So LinkedIn is getting more and more common in order to land a job or if you have a business, especially if you have a business that is a B2B business that basically provides products or services to other businesses, LinkedIn is an incredible place to reach them. So it is very important that you properly optimize your LinkedIn profile and to be honest with you, I'm still absolutely shocked sometimes when I see people's LinkedIn's, it's just not really well optimized. And so whether you are trying to get a job or you're trying to get more business, optimizing your LinkedIn profile is extremely important. And there are people who specialize in this on Fiverr. So typically it's also relatively easy to do and it costs about 20 to $100 per optimization. And it would be relatively easy to train somebody else on how to do it as well. And this is something that I think is just gonna be getting more and more common and more and more needed over the next few years. So so this is a pretty good one. And it's one that I wanted to put on the list. You even see this guy charging like $125. So you can even charge more than that. Of course, it's best if you specialize. So if you specialize in B2B LinkedIn optimization, you can probably charge a lot more than that, for instance, because you're going to be working with other businesses. If you specialize in LinkedIn optimization for executives, for instance, that's a way you can charge more as well. So lots of opportunities here, uh, lots of opportunities for specialization and niching down. Basically, what you want to do is you want to see exactly what happened with the resume market because this is the same thing that happened with resumes where at first it was just like oh I'll write any resume for anyone and now it's starting to specialize and niche down to the point where there are resume writers for very specific types of careers and the same exact thing is going to happen with LinkedIn profiles so if you can kind of just look at resumes and see which ones are the most popular chances are it's going to be the same thing for LinkedIn profiles in a very short period of time so that's my tips to you on on that one guys uh, lots of opportunities there I'm going to go ahead and and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, I just wanna let you know that I'm gonna be doing a free training on how to grow and monetize your YouTube channel. And it's gonna be on Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. It'll be a live interactive Zoom call with me where I can answer questions that you have about YouTube. And I'll also be revealing the five biggest secrets when it comes to growing and making money from YouTube. And this is what you can do to either add a couple thousand dollars a month to your income or even grow a full-time income purely from making content on YouTube. And when I started out on YouTube, I was working as a pharmacist full-time, but within a few months of starting, I was getting messages like this in my inbox. And all of a sudden I was adding thousands of dollars on top of my full-time job. Now, if you wanna do the same, make sure to join the live training because I'll also be giving away a free mini course only to the people who show up to it. This is not going to happen anywhere else. There will be no replays and there's limited seating. So make sure you sign up by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And I look forward to seeing you there. Next one is going to be Fiverr Arbitrage. And this is something that you can do with a bunch of different services. And basically what you do is you find a really good gig on Fiverr and then you sell that same exact process or that same exact service that they're selling on a different platform such as Upwork and then you have the Fiverr gig do the work or maybe you even sell it on your own website. So you're basically acting as the middleman. You're like the marketer and you're acting as the middleman between the Fiverr uh, service gig provider and the end user. And here's an example of this person, um, Juheranto Joe, who basically made 1400 net on Fiverr with zero skill set, and he was doing this exact thing. So he was basically just the middleman. Now guys, you might think this is wild, but there are so many businesses out there that do something similar to this. I'll just give you an example. A few years ago, there was an agency that would actually set up Discord servers for people. And some of these people had massive audiences they were running lots of ads. So these are Discord servers that are gonna make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, if not even millions of dollars a year. And they were charging five to $10,000 to set up these Discord servers correctly. But the thing is, I happen to know that they were actually just outsourcing it to Fiverr. So there was one particular gig provider who was really good and he just did an amazing job. And I think he charged a few hundred bucks or something and they were just outsourcing it to him. So <laughs> these companies were paying them like $10,000. He was outsourcing it to this gig provider for like 200 or 300 
$100 and then he was just profiting like over $9,000 uh, of the difference. Now there was a little bit of extra work. There was more communication and stuff like that. But overall, he was profiting a significant amount of money. So yeah, that's basically how Fiverr arbitrage works. So if you can find a really good niche that's popular on Fiverr, but the end users aren't really aware that it's on Fiverr, or maybe it's a good niche, but most of the Fiverr gigs aren't good, but you find one that's actually good, then you can actually just act as a middleman and you can collect the profit in between. So uh, really good one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score because there's a lot of people out there that secretly do this and you're not even aware of it. Next one is going to be AI services. So there's all kinds of different things that are AI related um, where AI can either do the job for you or it can do a significant amount of the job for you or it can help you do the job better or faster. And so there's tons of these out there. Um, for instance, there's AI consultants, AI video editors, AI prompt engineers, and AI content editors. So lots of different options out there for this. Of course, you have to figure out, you know, how to properly prompt the AI and how to get it to actually give you a good output. And that can be somewhat difficult. But overall, um, a lot of different AI related services that are available right now, I even did an entire video on it. But yeah, uh, good opportunities here. I'm going to go ahead and give this an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Another one that I found to be somewhat funny, but also actually extremely profitable is online life coaching. So this is where you basically give people life coaching advice on this. And this could be in many, many different areas of life, all the way from career coaching to happiness, to relationship advice, all kinds of stuff like that. And this is actually very common and very profitable. And there are people that are doing this on Fiverr. And the key here, just like with almost any other niche is to niche down, right? You want to get specific, you want to specialize in something and niche down. But life coaches in general make about 54 to $92,000 a year. And you can make even more if you do freelancing or you start your own business. Now, I'm not going to lie, the absolute best way to do any type of coaching or life coaching is not necessarily to put it on Fiverr. Instead, what you would want to do is you would want to actually do a high ticket coaching service, like a high touch, high ticket coaching service, where you work very closely with the person over a period of time in order to achieve a certain outcome. And then you would actually promote that on YouTube. So you'd have a YouTube channel where you're making content and then you'd have like some kind of high ticket coaching service. And this is without a doubt the optimal way of actually getting people results because online courses don't really get great results. One-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, if it's just a one-off type of thing, isn't really gonna get someone results. But having a very specific, uh, uh, set of criteria and a course that you go through and then a timeline of exactly each step that they need to take and then accountability and coaching along the way to achieve that goal that they originally set out to achieve that has been proven over and over again to actually get people results and so that is a really good one to get into but to be honest this is a Fiverr video so if it's just Fiverr I'll give this one maybe like a 7 out of 10 you can definitely make some money here and there with it but if you also do YouTube on top of it then it would be much much higher than that I would give it like a probably a perfect 10 out of 10 if I'm being honest. And by the way, I do actually train people on how to grow and make money from their YouTube channel because I have this channel. I've done it myself. This channel makes multiple six figures a month and I only have to spend four hours a week on it total. And I'm able to just travel the world and basically just have fun and do whatever I want. And I coach a few other people per month on how to do this as well. And I also offer some free training. And if you want either of those things, you can click the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below because that's where it will be. Next is going to be a social media manager. This is a gig that you can also offer on Fiverr. And there's a lot of different social media management related gigs you can offer. So for instance, you could make a content calendar for somebody, you could make some content for their Instagram account, you could make a certain type of carousel that they want, you could edit their video in a certain way that is, looks really good on Instagram, all kinds of different gigs out there. Uh, one that got really popular lately, Dan Co, kind of like this black and white type of Instagram style that got extremely popular. And people that were offering that as a gig on Fiverr made a ton of money from it. So um, that would be one example of what you can do. Now, social media managers in general make about fifty-two dollars to $82,000 a year. So it's just a really good career in general to go into. Um, and it's just a really good skill set to learn. But you can also make a ton of money in, with social media management related stuff on Fiverr. And the best thing about this is if you're young, and you grew up using social media, that's pretty much all you need because you already understand social media on a much deeper level than older people. So you're probably gonna be extremely good at this job. So yeah, this one's really good. Uh, lots of different gigs related to this. I'll give this one like a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a slideshow presentation creator. So this could be something like a pitch deck or a slideshow or some way of pitching people on buying your product or investing or something along those lines. And if you don't think you can make money from this, there's this 33 year old that 
that brought in two million dollars making powerpoints okay so she was literally just making powerpoint presentations for people right and she was just doing freelance work on these different freelance websites so you can definitely make money by doing this creating different powerpoint presentations and that kind of thing of course as always i know i feel like a broken record but you want to niche down you want to specialize so definitely look out at the market look at which ones are getting the most attention look at which ones are able to charge the highest which freelancers are able to make the most money also look at the needs of the market as well and yeah that can be really good so this one i'm going to go ahead and give a 9 out of 10 opportunity score another one you could consider doing is pitch decks as well which is slightly different but it's kind of the same thing and by the way if you want to learn how to get more into this type of thing like using pitch decks sales pitches uh, presentation for you know powerpoint presentations that kind of thing the easiest way to get into sales and actually make a ton of money right off the bat is getting into what's known as tech sales. I've actually interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that my business partners have actually helped to get into tech sales themselves. And it's a super easy career to get into. You don't need a college degree. You don't need previous experience. And sales in general is one of the most valuable skill sets you could possibly learn. So it's a great one to get into. And if you want some free training on that, I'll put that down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And you can check out the free training down there. All right. So next is image background removal and related gigs to it. So for instance, you might remove the background on a particular product and then you might, you know, Photoshop some shadows behind it or something like that to make it look really good. Lots of different gigs doing this. AI recently has gotten incredibly good at removing backgrounds before, like even two years ago, it was not very good at doing it. And now it's incredibly good at doing it. And it's basically as good as a human who basically goes in like hours at a time and removes at one pixel at a time is basically as good as a human doing that at this point. So you can actually earn a ton of money doing this. And there's a a lot of need for it as well out on the market. I remember a few years ago, I paid like 500 bucks to some guy to remove a bunch of, uh, move the background from a bunch of pictures for me for thumbnails. So yeah, this is a really good one. Might get saturated relatively quickly because there's a lot of tools out there to do it. So remove.bg for instance. So yeah, image uh, background removal. I'll give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is podcast writing. So this is basically where you write different kinds of outlines for what people should talk about on different podcasts. So this isn't necessarily writing word for word what they should say, because that would actually be kind of difficult. But in some cases, maybe they would want you to write it word for word. But what it really is, is basically just giving them an outline to go through so that they just know what they should talk about next every time. So for instance, if they're going over a bunch of different news events, you almost create like a newsletter or an outline for them to just go down the list and talk about these different things. And maybe you insert a few of your own points and perspectives here and there, and they can maybe talk about them or maybe not talk about them. And so, yeah, this can be really good. Podcast writers in general make about sixty-eight dollars to $119,000 a year. And there's a lot of basically need on the market for this position. And there's not a lot of people out there that can do it. So if you're someone who likes to listen to podcasts a lot, this can be a really good one. And I am starting to see more and more gigs related to it. So I'm going to give podcast writing an eight out of 10 opportunity score. All right. So a few boring ones. I'm going to go over these really quickly because you guys probably already know them, but they're honestly still pretty good. Proofreading and editing. I know nobody wants to do proofreading. No one's to, nobody wants to do editing, but there's still a lot of opportunity out there. And there's a lot of people that look for this type of thing. And if you can do a good job on it, I know it's boring, but you can make a good amount of money. So this lady, for instance, makes about $46 an hour with her proofreading side hustle. Proofreaders in general make about $45 to $68,000 a year. Not the sexiest side hustle to do, but there is a lot of gigs out there for this. So I'm going to go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Another one that again is not the sexiest side hustle ever but you can make money doing it is data entry. So there's still some types of data that you have to manually enter in, even though AI is getting really good. Uh, maybe you have AI do it first and then you double check the AI just to make sure it didn't make any mistakes. But there are still a lot of data entry related gigs out there. And I'd say AI has actually increased the amount of freelance opportunities when it comes to data entry, because it has been streamlining and getting rid of some data entry jobs. But that just means that instead of hiring somebody full time, they might hire a freelancer for it. And so yeah, data Data entry is still relatively good. I'll give this one a six out of 10 opportunity score. Next one is going to be a fact checking gig. So this is becoming more and more common. People, especially in the United States, are basically not trusting of the news at all. And probably for very good reason, because the news constantly lies. <laughs> 
to them. Uh, prob you know, it, it's just a pretty much undisputed fact. If you look at the data, pretty much nobody trusts the news. They trusted you. And there are uh, different efforts out there to fact check things. Sometimes people might wonder if you would want to fact check the fact checkers, but there are a lot of gigs out there for this type of thing, um, fact checking and just making sure that information is correct. And fact checkers uh, in general, just for a job, make about 57 to $100,000 a year. But fact checking on Fiverr is something that is popping up. It's a new and developing niche because let's be honest, you probably don't need to hire someone full time to fact check, but you might want to hire someone for a gig to fact check some things. So this can be a pretty good one to get into. I'll go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Yeah. And these are some of the ones that I've seen lately uh, have been growing and I just see a lot of demand in the market for these. So definitely check these out. But if you haven't checked the video out already, I did do a freelancing for beginners tier list, which will probably give you a bunch of other ideas. You can check that video out by clicking right here.